हमारे लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स पाने के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को दबाना बिल्कुल ना भूलें ताकि हमारे सभी नोटिफिकेशन आपको सबसे पहले मिले डीजी मेन टू एजुकेशन इज इंडिया बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म टू प्रिपेयर फॉर गेट एन टी नेट एंड पी कंप्यूटर साइंस ज्यादा जानकारी के लिए हमारी वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू पर विजिट करें What is GATE? So GATE stands for Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. So this GATE exam is for the candidates who have completed their BTEC, and now you are planning to to get some government job or some public sector undertakings in technical discipline. So this GATE examination is conducted by the total eight institutions jointly, which include IIT Bangalore, IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay. IIT Madras, IIT Guwahati, IIT Kharagpur. So all of these institutions are a part of uh, the gate organizing committee, and they organize the gate exam on the on behalf of MHRD, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. So this exam is designed to test how good engineer are you? Do you have good fundamental knowledge of engineering discipline? क्या आपके पास इंजीनियरिंग डिसिप्लिन की एक फंडामेंटल नॉलेज है या नहीं है दिस इज व्हाट दिस एग्जाम इज एक्चुअली टेस्टिंग नाउ सो दीज आर द इंस्टीट्यूशंस हु हैव ऑर्गेनाइज्ड दिस एग्जाम इन वेरियस इयर्स सो एज यू कैन सी आईसी बैंगलोर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड दिस एग्जाम इन 1994 1990 1996 uh, 2002 2008 एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज टेलिंग व्हिच ऑर्गेनाइजिंग इंस्टीट्यूशंस हैव ऑर्गेनाइज्ड दिस एग्जाम इन द पास्ट इयर्स Now, what is the qualifying degree for GATE? Qualifying degree क्या है? Obviously, some of you are having the questions. Am I eligible to prepare for GATE? क्या मैं GATE exam के लिए prepare eligible हूँ? So this is what we are trying to answer. So here, if you have done B Tech or B E or B Pharma, so basically all of these are four-year degree, then you are directly eligible to apply for GATE examination. Secondly, if you have done architecture, that is B Arc, or you have done your B Sc research. or you have done mbbs or b pharma or for all of these people who have these degrees they are eligible to apply for gate examination here this ppt presentation is also embedded in the comment section of this video so if you want to have a complete look at this presentation you can also download this presentation from the comment section of this video for gate computer science the gate exam is approximately of 3 hours and the total marks in the question paper is 100 so in those 100 marks first 15% or you can say 15 marks is reserved for aptitude and reasoning and the rest 85% or 85 marks is reserved for your technical discipline so as you can see the weightage of technical discipline is much higher as compared to the weightage of non technical discipline so here in these 85 marks so total number of questions in the question paper will be 65 So in this 65 questions, uh, you are going to have 10 questions from aptitude and reasoning, and rest of the 55 questions are from technical section. And these 55 questions are further divided into two sections. That is one mark question. So you will be having a total of 25 questions which are of one marks, and rest 30 questions are of two marks. And the total cut off marks for gate varies from 25 to 28.5. So this is the cut off marks in the various years. So in 2020 because right now this 2020 examination just concluded and you are preparing for gate 2021 or gate 2022. So in 2020 the cut off marks for general category is 28.5 for OBC it is 25.6 and for SC ST is 19. And these marks are out of 100. That means If you score more than 28.5 marks then you will be called as a gate qualified candidate. In the same way in 2019 the cutoff for general category was 29.5 for OBC category it was 26.6 for SC ST and PWD candidates it was 19.7 in 2008 for general category the cutoff was 25 for OBC category the cutoff was 22.5 and for SC ST and PWD candidates it is 60 16.60 but just qualifying this gate exam is not enough so this these are the cut off marks just to tell you that you are gate qualified and trust me approximately 16 to 17% people only 
uh, able to uh, qualify this cutoff. Out of all the people who are apply for gate computer science, approximately 1 lakh students or 1 lakh candidates apply for gate computer science. Out of those 1 lakhs, only 16%, 1 6, 16% people qualify these cutoffs. So you can see the examination is quite difficult. Now there are two things here. One is the gate cutoff and second one is gate admission cutoff. These two things are very, very different. Because when you give your gate examination, on the basis of marks you have scored, the gate committee is going to assign you some ranks. And on the basis of ranks, you are going to apply in various colleges and IITs. And these IITs and colleges will be allocated to you on the basis of your rank. So here you can see what is the gate qualifying cutoff. So gate qualifying cutoff is the minimum marks that is required to qualify the gate exam. But having qualified this minimum marks is not a guarantee that you will get admission in IIT. Because approximately 15,000 candidates will be qualifying the gate cutoff, but only top 1,000 candidates will be getting uh, enrollment in IITs. So your target is to come into those top 1,000. Aapka jo target hai wo top 1,000 mein aane ka hai taaki aap old IITs ya fir NITs ke andar admissions le sake. So here it is the, when I say get admission cut off, so that means it is the minimum marks required to get admission in an institution. Kisi bhi institution mein admission lene ke liye, jo minimum marks required hai, usko hum bolte hai, get admission cut off. And this is declared by again the same body but here this gate cutoff is declared by your uh, qualifying uh, your organizing institution but this admission cutoff is declared by the institution in which you are taking the admission for example if you are applying in IIT Guwahati so you are going to have a cutoff for IIT Guwahati so cutoff for most of the institutions they vary accordingly so the cutoff is different Next, parameters to decide the cutoff. On what basis the this cutoff is decided? So as I said, the cutoff is decided on the basis of the number of candidates who are applying for the gate exam. Secondly, uh, the number of candidates who have scored particular, uh, I mean, who have cleared the cutoff marks. And third, what is the level of examination? What is the level of question paper? Was it easy? Was it difficult? So basically your gate qualifying cutoff is dependent on candidates performance, category of candidates and the previous year cutoff tracks. But this admission cutoff is dependent on the number of seats, kitni seats a kisi institution may and number of applications received in that particular institution. What are the factors determining the gate cutoff? Kis kis factor per gate cutoff determine hoti hai? Number one is the total number of ad candidates who are taking the paper. So in 2013, approximately 2.5 lakh candidates appeared for gate computer science. But in 2019 and 2020, approximately only 1 lakh candidate appeared for gate examination. So it depends what is the total number of P, uh, candidates who are taking the paper or total number of candidates who are applying for the examination and secondly it is also dependent on the difficulty level of the gate question paper how difficult the exam is exam kitna difficult aya hai uske basis par bhi ye dependent hota hai third what is the number of seats which are available if you are applying in a uh, certain IIT for example IIT Bombay is having the maximum number of seats which is approximately 120 to 180 for a computer science gate candidate so it also dependent on the total number of seats available so all the IITs all the NITs they declare what is the number of seats available in their institution on the basis of that again this cutoff marks will be decided and last the category under which the candidate is seeking admission so is a candidate seeking admission in general category, is a candidate seeking admission in SCST category or OBC category. So according to the category, so these cutoff marks will also be decided. <coughs> then this is the gate, cut uh, gate marks scored versus the ranks. So if you are having gate marks between 30 to 40, then you are going to have a gate rank between 5000 to 10,000. So this is depending on the year because uh, it also depends on the 
क्वालिटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर और द लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर सो इफ द क्वेश्चन पेपर विल बी डिफिकल्ट देन बाई स्कोरिंग लेस मार्क्स यू आर गोइंग टू गेट बेटर रैंक बट इफ द क्वेश्चन पेपर इज ईजी देन बाई स्कोरिंग मोर मार्क्स यू आर गोइंग टू हैव लेस रैंक राइट सो हियर यू कैन क्लियरली सी सो दिस इज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर ट्रेंड्स सो वी हैव सीन द ट्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द लास्ट सिक्स टू सेवन ईयर्स सो दिस इज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर ट्रेंड्स सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू बी एनालाइज the rank that you will get on the basis of the marks you are having so for example if you are having a marks between 40 to 50 so most of the time your rank is between 2000 to 5000 if your marks is between 68 to 72 so your rank will be top 100 to 200 out this these marks are out of 100 if your marks is above 75 that means you will be in top 50 ranks तो इसका मतलब है कि आप टॉप 50 रैंक्स पर होंगे सो आवर एम हियर इन दिस क्लासेस आवर एम इज टू टारगेट दिस टॉप 100 रैंक्स सो एज आई सेट डे 2020 एग्जाम जस्ट कंक्लूडेड सो दिस इज द रैंक ऑफ द फर्स्ट आई मीन दिस दिस आर द मार्क्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट 10 रैंकर्स ऑफ गेट 2020 सो इन गेट 2020 इफ यू स्कोर्ड 84.67 मार्क्स आउट ऑफ 100 देन योर रैंक वाज 9 If you score 88.67 marks out of 100, then your rank was one. So you can clearly see how much marks you have to score to get into top 10 ranks. So this is the kind of idea that you can get that what is the rank you have to get to get into these institutions. So for example, if you want to get into IIC Bangalore direct admission. so your rank should be less than 100 or india rank should be less than 100 and if you want to get admission into iit bombay then uh, depends on the courses also because i iit bombay have different courses iit bombay give a ta course that is teaching assistant uh, mtech with ta then iit bombay is also having mtech with ra that is research assistant and it is also having different different courses right so on the basis of the course that you are getting so your rank should be less than 600 to get into iit bombay after this for iit delhi iit kanpur and iit madras your rank should be less than 300 but to get a direct admission in any of these iits your rank should be less than 100 but in the same way <coughs> for some courses because they also have different courses they also have courses for uh, ta they also have courses for ra as less well they also have courses for ms programs so depending on what courses you are choosing your rank will be decided and if you want to get into iit kharagpur the rank should be less than 600 if you want to get into iit roorkee guwahati or banaras university that is iit bhu then your rank should be less than 1000 and to get into new iits as well as nits your rank should be less than 1500 for government state level colleges national or state level colleges so again as i said there are two categories of colleges here one is the central universities which are owned by the central government and second is the state universities which are owned by the state government to get a college in the central university or state university you should have a gate rank which is less than equal to 2500 and for any private college or any state level colleges uh, the rank should be less greater than 2500 so you can see what college you want to get and according to that you can target your college so most of the time it is it is only beneficial to give gate examination if you are getting a rank which is less than 1000 to aapke paas jo opportunities hai wo kafi achhi opportunities hoti hai you will be getting all of these top iits so this is how your gate score card looks like so in your gate score card you will get a gate score and this gate score is decided as a relative marking scheme So, for example, All India Rank One. If he scored 88 marks and he's All India Rank One, then he's going to get a gate score which is 1000. And on the basis of that, the gate score of other people will be evaluated. So, for example, if he scored 88 marks and then All India Rank Two scored 86 marks, but again because All India Rank One is 1000 uh, score, the score for All India Rank One is 1000. So the rank for all india rank 2 will be less than 1000 so approximately like 900 to 800 like this so we have two concepts here one concept is as you can see what is the total number of candidates who applied for the exam so this is actually for mechanical engineering as you can see so in computer science also you will get the similar kind of score card here we have the number of candidates who appeared for the exam 
what is the qualifying marks or cutoff for each of these categories just for example in mechanical discipline the qualifying marks for general category is 32.73 the qualifying marks for obc is 29.46 and the qualifying marks for scst is approximately 21.82 in the same way what is the marks this candidate scored out of 100 so this candidate scored approximately 56.32 marks out of 100 and his rank all india rank is 6 1491 so in this manner you are going to get your gate scorecard and on the basis of your score as well as on the basis of your rank you are going to apply in various colleges or various iits to get admissions over there so this another concept here which is called as percentile so calculating the percentile is very easy so percentile is basically it denotes how many people were behind you I mean to say, let us assume that your gate rank was 1000 and number of candidates who applied is approximately 1 lakh. So percentile is calculated on the basis of how many candidates were behind you. So it is 1 minus all India rank divided by the number of candidates in that subject multiplied by 100%. So this is basically how many candidates are behind you. For example, if my percentile is 99.5. So that means 99.5% people have secured marks or have secured a rank which is more than 99.5% people. So I am in top 5% people in uh, top 0.5% people in the entire domain, right? So this is how the percentile will be evaluated. Then stipend and tenure. So if you qualify the gate computer science exam, and you take admissions in any of the IITs or any of the colleges on the basis of your gate rank and the institution should be AICT approved then you will get a stipend which is 12,400 rupees per month and this stipend is issued by MHRD so most of the time it happens like for example in my case it happens that my MTech fees was around 40,000 but the stipend I was getting is approximately 1.5 lakhs per year so this stipend was given by MHRD so that you can do your masters and you can carry out your research. And this is for two years. So because MTech is of two years, for these two years, you are going to get stipend as 12,400 rupees every month from MHRD. And in other programs, like you have research assistance, which is RA. So in programs like RA, the stipend could be more as well as the duration of stipend can also be increased to three years. So this is uh, the sample data I've taken from IIT Bombay website and this is the placement data of 2017 and 18. So in 2017 and 18 in IIT Bombay for MTech program approximately 4, 542 candidates registered for the placements and here approximately 489 candidates participated in the placements registered and participated means see all the people who are going to appear for MTech all of them are not going to really uh, apply for the placements why because some of the people are having plans to do phd some of the people are having plans to maybe go out of india and apply for phds in other countries and there are some some of them are interested in teaching so basically everyone who registers for the placement they does not really appear so in iit bombay in 2017-18 session so 542 people 542 candidates students who were doing mtech from there they registered for the placements and 489 participated in the placement examination and the 403 candidates got placed which is approximately 82.41 percent so aapki jo placement jo hai yahan par 82.41 percent candidates ki yahan par placement hui thi and what is uh, so this is again this is the placement percentage so for MTech, the placement percentage was 82.41. And this is the department wise placement percentage because we are mostly concerned about the computer science department. So if I talk about this computer science engineering MTech program in IIT Bombay computer science engineering MTech program total 92 people participated and here out of them 98.91% people placed. 
So this is something I've taken from IIT Bombay website because in MTech department they also have other courses. We have MTech for electronics and communication. We have MTech for mechanical. So this is specifically for computer science discipline because the salary package in computer science discipline is very high as compared to any other branches as well as the placements for computer science is also very high. So generally you have an opportunity to get 100% placement. So this is 98.91 is very close to 100%. Only one candidate did not get placed. Maybe it is because the reason he wanted to go into some other uh, company or he wanted to do his PhD. That is why he could not get placed. Otherwise, most of the candidates get easily placed. Electronic science के लिए सबसे comprehensive courses Digimen to Education के साथ available हैं. तो आज ही Google Play Store से हमारे application को download कीजिए. Link description में दिया गया है. Digimen to Education. NTA, UGC, NET और GATE की परीक्षा की तैयारी करने के लिए इंडिया का सबसे अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म है स्टडी एनी टाइम स्टडी एनी